On Wednesday, it was announced by NBA insiders the Atlanta Hawks are prepared to trade draft picks, maybe as many as three, along with Danilo Gallinari to the San Antonio Spurs for DeJounte Murray. Now, many people may not know much about Murray if you're not a big NBA fan, but he is a 25-year-old, almost 26-year-old all-star from last year who has developed into a very good player, a very good guard who will complement Trey Young very well. He's 6'4", so he's taller than Trey Young, and he plays defense. He was second team on all defensive team a couple of years ago in his second season, so the Hawks have wondered if they could have a guard, a a point guard or a shooting guard who could be back with Trey Young in the backcourt and complement him well. We all know Trey's got great skills, but he cannot play defense. Murray led the NBA in steals last year, and therefore he's got a tremendous defensive asset that he will bring with him from San Antonio. So those two are the pieces that will be really the core for this Hawks team moving forward. Now you have to wonder of what the Hawks will do next. The NBA trades and free agents will start moving on Thursday night, and we'll see what the next move will be. Hawks have been linked to DeAndre Ayton, a center from the Phoenix Suns, Rudy Gobert, a center from the Utah Jazz. And, of course, the big question is what the Hawks are going to do with John Collins. They were able to get this deal done for Murray without using their biggest trade piece, which was John Collins. So what will Collins bring back in return? Will he get draft picks back that will be able to kind of recoup the ones that they traded to San Antonio for Murray? Or will they be able to get something back that will help their team for this coming season? There's no question that after reaching the Eastern Conference Finals a year ago, this last season was a very big disappointment for this Hawks team. They said after the year they were going to be better and make some moves to make this roster better for the upcoming season. And there's no question that this move looks like on paper it will help. There's no doubt about the fact that Trey Young needed help in that backcourt with his defense and to have a second scoring option, which was a big problem for them in that first round series against Miami is also something will be benefited by having Murray on the team. So the Hawks strike first with a big move. And now we just have to wonder and wait and watch and see what's next.